Tisa Harden has been in remission for the past seven years, and over those years, Tisa says she's learned there are more changes that survivors undergo after breast cancer. That's why she's sharing her message with women all over Omaha. At first glance, Tisa Harden Partridge looks healthy. I just kind of knew in my heart that that would happen to me. But the middle school security guard says her healthy lifestyle didn't stop her from developing breast cancer back in 2012. I think my body is prepared for it. Um, I think my attitude was ready for it, and um, I just knew that there were some things I had to do. Treatments weren't easy. But there's a lot of breakdown of muscles and bones, and of course you lose your hair and all that during chemo treatment, but that chemo treatment just kills a lot of cells and other things that you really need going forward. Following her diagnosis, she developed a breast cancer support group, the Pink Lotus Project. Tisa says it was difficult to adjust to her new normal after beating the disease. And I know after treatment and after surgeries, you know, you got, you got a new normal. So you kind of got to get your body back together and really try to figure out what works for you post-cancer. She's now living a holistic lifestyle, focusing on the mind, body, and soul. The big catchphrase now is living my best life. If you're not healthy, you can't live any kind of life. She recommends lifestyle changes like plant-based diets and exercise. A message echoed by Dr. Hattie Zara with CHI Health. It's not just about surveillance uh, to ensure that uh, we're not finding cancer recurrences or if we do that therapies are being started at a much earlier phase, but also ensuring the well-being of uh, patients. Dr. Zara recommends people limit alcohol intake, eat more fruits and vegetables, and get at least 150 minutes of moderate activity every week. Harden adds one of the biggest life-saving factors was knowing her family history. Just starting a conversation about what's in our what's in our families, what's in our background. You know, we have a family reunions. We talk about everything but health. Dr. Zara agrees. Genetics uh, has also been quite important, not just for dealing for the existing cancer, but also providing risk reduction strategies. Well, Hardin's nonprofit, the Pink Lotus Project, is hosting a pink pancake breakfast where, they're sh where they will share holistic healing tips with other breast cancer survivors. The event takes place this Saturday at the Claire United Methodist Church. In studio, Sydney Gray, 3 News Now, this morning.